very often when putting together training, you will have a program such as PowerPoint putting together all of your images for that training. And then you might have a document you're putting together in Microsoft Word or uh, some other program. And uh, that's going to be either a script for you to read off of while you're maybe developing e-learning or delivering a webinar or even a class. Uh, so the question kind of comes up, hey, how can I get my how do I get my images from my PowerPoint into my script so I can uh, have that set up pretty easily? I'm going to show how to do that. So here is a PowerPoint. I have four slides in my PowerPoint. Here is my Word document. Uh, I'm creating a storyboard right here. So I've got a place where I want to put the images for that are going to align with the script that I'm reading here. So the way I start that is I go into PowerPoint and I am going to save, uh, instead of saving as a PowerPoint, I'm gonna save these as images. You can do JPEGs or GIFs. Uh, I'm gonna choose uh, PNGs. And then we are going to save those PNGs. Now it's asking, do you wanna save just the slide you have selected or do you want to save all of these as images from your project? I'm going to say every slide and we'll see that it's done. And here where I had it saved, here's my presentation, and here is a folder that has now all four images. And the images are aptly named the same number of the PowerPoint slide number. So uh, I've got my images created. We'll see that these files are uh, 960 by 540 pixels. Obviously, in my Word document, uh, I don't need something that big. So I'm going to show how to open those up real quick. And uh, the default program I have op uh, to select them is Microsoft Office Picture Manager. If that is not selected as your default, you can always right click, go to Open With, and then choose Microsoft Office Picture Manager. And I'll see this as the one image I have selected. I'm going to select my thumbnail view, it's going to actually show all of the pictures in that folder. I'm going to select them all, click on edit pictures, and resize. I'm going to make them 33% of the size that they were. I'm going to click on OK, and you'll see that's much smaller, probably more around what I'll need for this Word document. Uh, now this is important, I resize them, I also need to save all of these. So I have all of these selected, and I'm going to click on Save. And now when I go back here, I'll see that my images are now 317 by 178, uh, a lot more appropriate for what I did. The Word document, so you don't have a massively huge Word document. So now I'm going to go in and uh, if you want to insert a picture, you can just go insert picture, and I'm going to select uh, slide two here. Uh, now, usually what I'll do is I'll make it a little more interesting. I might put a little shadow on it to just give the image some depth there. Um, and now on the rest of these slides, let's say if you, a lot of times you might go back and change your PowerPoint slide, so you'll need to update the pictures. Uh, one really easy way to do that super nice is you right click on the picture, click on change picture. Uh, I'm going to select this slide and say insert. Boom, it's replaced. So this is a really easy way to bring your images that you can create in a program that can do that like PowerPoint into the Word document you need to use for training.